Hi friends, this is Gail, Fava of Four. It's already late on that night. So. I moved some stuff around in here, if you notice. Brought some stuff down. That's why I was going to do this first thing this morning. That's what always happens. And now I'm tired, but I said... I better do it because um, I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow, so. And um, I did, I saw the gastroenterologist the other day, I, I don't think I told you, but he said, I think that surgeon said six weeks, not six months. And uh, I can't remember what I say, what, who to, but when you talk to so many people. But um, what he told me when I asked him, I'm sure I must have done one since, a video since then, but he said, um, you know, it's not a cholesterol uh, stone. It's, it's uh, I mean, that comes from cholesterol. It's more liver stuff for some reason. That's why it's called a pigment stone. And what I said, well, then how come my numbers went from like 400, I mean, from like eight, what's supposed to be, to like 400 and something. And that's when everybody got nervous and started sending me for all these tests and stuff. So I said, why did it go back down then? He's, so he explained to me, he said, if it gets stuck, then that's when the numbers go up. Sometimes it'll get loose and it'll, they you know, float around. He said yours got stuck and then it got loose. But if you don't go have your gallbladder taken out and that happens again and it stays stuck, you can have... Um, I mean, you have to look and see how big, you know, it was a little bigger size. You know, I'm thinking like a stone outside or something um, because he said they had to cut it out and it took longer. But he said if you don't get it done right away and you have another one in there and it sticks, you could get an infection and then you'd get jaundice. And then you could just die within 24 hours. I didn't realize, um, you know, that we even had those kinds of stones. And it's not like I had pain. I mean, a couple times I had a little pain or a little reflux. But, you know, nothing. And I've always had trouble with my stomach. And they did check me for gallbladder years ago and the ultrasound and the whole bit. And I knew I didn't have gallbladder. But if I hadn't asked my doctor, I wanted lab work for some reason. I wanted to, because I was D deficient, I wanted to see if it had gone up and stuff. I didn't realize that vitamin D was that important, that you could really feel crappy and tired and everything. So, as a matter of fact, the cardiologist, I had to get blood work for him too tomorrow. And he's, he, I didn't know what it was called, A1C or something, but it was, um, that was for um, vitamin D also. So take your vitamin D. It's important. Even though I live in Florida, I haven't been out as much the last few years. And plus when it's hot, too hot, you know, we stay in. And I'm really hot now because I had this sweater on, but I have to show you sister these you know you can get these in the grocery store Publix or whatever and they're you know they're not real long for sure so she got me um because a lot of times I'll get them I mean when you see me with those things on they're just cheap that I get at Walgreens or something and she'd gotten me another red one and then a white one. And 
you know, at least when you're in the house, you look decent. But I'll tell you my secret. Sometimes it's really nice to feel to it's soft and they're really cheap. Um, you know, after I, well, I don't usually take a shower and I sometimes a bath. If not, I just wash up. I, I leave this on. I sleep in it. And then the next day, sometimes I forget to take it off. <laughs> it's like, it's just a 24-hour thing. And you can run up to the store, you know, or do anything. But the reason I have the sweater on is, I guess I could probably take it off. It's di I'm starting to die in here. I used to take Excedrin all the time because I always had headaches. And... I hadn't taken any aspirin in a long time, but I did the other day. I started to get a headache. And as soon as I bump myself, see what I, I get that old lady thing like I am. And I hate that and you can't cover them up. And like if a dog jumps on me or something, you know, I have to be really careful because I just get them and it just looks terrible. But you can't hardly see it. So. You know, I have sweaters all around, and short ones aren't going to help. Anyway, that's that. So this was the other ones you got me. They're about 10 bucks. Yeah, Walgreens. I, I mean, it used to be, you know, I wore the capris. Well, I have capris and stuff, but I'm still dying here. So during the day, you know, I mean, I could wear these. I have a bunch of different kinds. And I don't have to wear a bra with it. Now, if I go somewhere or someone's coming to the door, then I do. And I'll just show you this one other thing I had out. Back during the Vietnam War, I, I was in the cedar chest, so. My ex-ex-husband -hus, ex sent this to me from Vietnam. It was a, I still have another one upstairs, a robe. And you know, you're thinking about, you know, you think to get rid of stuff, and I'm like, heck, this is from like 1967, uh, 68. But no wonder they they used to call them their mama sons, and I had no idea really what a mama son was. I was like, not with it or something because. I didn't, I guess because there was so much going on in my house that, I don't know how I was so dumb. I mean, I didn't know until a lot later about all the drugs there. And and he's telling me he's got this mama son and they live in this little hut, you know, with the other guys. And and I just, you know, and he, he did get a certificate because he went to flamethrower school. Now, I never thought to even... I knew it was dangerous, um, and then, you know, I figured later, they did drugs and with the mama son, you know, she didn't just clean their place, I don't think, and uh, all I was worried about was they kept saying on TV, send Kool-Aid, and send, so I was working for A.O. Smith then, makes hot water um, heaters, Clark Controller Division in uh, Cleveland. And uh, I take the thing, I have this box and I put all this stuff in and I take it down to shipping and the guy would ship it for me. And on Easter, like I, I put, I'm so dumb, I put grass on the bottom and I did this whole Easter thing, I think I told you guys. And I mean chocolate and everything. He said when it got there, I'm not thinking of the weather there. You know, we lived in Cleveland or outside Cleveland, it was cold. He said it was a, a big mess. All I'm thinking of is trying to make them happier with, you know, junk stuff. And the only thing he ever told me was that he got charged by a water buffalo <laughs> and caught. But um, I never thought to ask questions. And, you know, they didn't really talk and say anything. So, anyway, my dad didn't either, World War II. He you know, when you get older, you want to know things. I would like to have sat down with him and asked questions, but um, all I know is he doesn't didn't like asparagus because when they were he was in um, 
I don't know. I understand he was in the brig most of the time. But um, the garbage, you know, where you'd go, I don't know if it was Germany or he was in France then, I don't know. Um, he said he, you know, and it was from, a, a lot of it was from asparagus. You know how asparagus gets when it's not good? That's why I always punch a little hole in it and smell it if it's in a package. And I try to get fresh. And he could never stand it the taste of um or the smell of asparagus yet alone eat it anyway don't ask me where that all came from um i have a little bit of this and a little bit of that first i'm gonna um uh i'll show you this little thing i made it's nothing i just put some of those vintage buttons in don't you love that flower and they had 70% off at Holly Lobby. And those are vintage buttons in there. And then I, had, I saw someone on um, YouTube that got these. I haven't figured out quite yet what to use them for, but I'm sure it's like the pack, your packages and stuff for a dollar each. So I got those. And, isn't this pretty? I don't know if you've ever seen it before. It's um, netting, but it's daisies. It's pink, light pink. Isn't it pretty? I never, well, you know, I have not been in a craft store for probably a year with all this other stuff. I can't, I can't keep track. And I was just telling um, Nola today, Nola Harris, how much I use her book that she made me remember. Um, uh, Friends forever. Uh, I shall find this. Oh no, and she did this on there. And she made me this uh, needle book. Well, I mean, I love it. I keep my needles in there. And I, you know, I had a few of these from when I was a kid. And used to wear them on our sweaters. So now when I see one, I try to get it, kind of collect them. And some old pins I put in there. But I use this book. You know, I have my, right now I have my, a needle and some thread in here ready to go. And uh, I told her I want her to tell me how to do it. And then I have all, these aren't all of them, but a lot of the little angels that I have. And then just today, you know, I was in here and I'm like, what's in here? What's in here? Well, anyway, I had pinned these two um, crowns on there. And then I thought, well, what's in this pocket? Look at the cool pocket she made. Some of you may not have seen it because it's been a while ago. And inside the pocket, you always surprise yourself, you know? That's another one somewhere. Look, all the crowns I have, I have in there. Keep them in one place. But you have to be able to find them, right? So they're all in that, that pocket. And I had forgotten, actually, that they were in there. And... That's about it. But, you know, I keep it on my dresser. And so, but it's just cool the way she made the ends like this. And then these that she sews. I mean, I, I could sew if I had to. If somebody does the bobbin and stuff and sets it all up. It's just one of those things. And the older I get, the less patience I have. And also the one other thing I wanted to, I showed you guys this, but that I keep in my purse that I really love that Minerva made me. Because I, I don't do paper things really. I can't figure out the directions most of the time. But look how cute, you know. And today I was writing like notes in here, a little thing. And I showed y'all, but 
look at all those cute little paper clips and little cards and stuff. And I've been writing notes. I wrote like a note in here, um, uh, you know, about a few of the things I wanted to uh, talk about. Um, oh, this one thing. You know, it's been kind of, I mean, it's been hectic, but, you know, I haven't been, like, looking at my face and doing a mask or checking, you know, other stuff. And I have a 10 times magnifying mirror. And it's, you know how it is? If you don't look at yourself every couple of days, it's like, oh, my God, where did all that come from? And uh, so I decide to get out, you know, when you're in the house a lot, you just kind of let things go. So anyway, and I never used to. So I'm looking in the mirror, and everybody always says, well, people don't look at you ten times magnifying. I said, I don't care if it's there, you know. Um, it's there. Well, I looked and I had this black one, like, right here, and it was really pretty long. I mean, I probably could have threaded it and used it for a flower for my slip stitch. <laughs> and then there's, I'm like, oh my God, the older you get, it's like some hair leaves some places, like on your head, and comes in other places. I can't, you know, I can't stand it. Um, oh. Two things I saw, you probably saw it too. If you have a skin tag, it said if you put Colgate on it, it said one time, I didn't read the whole thing, that it'll come off. Um, and then there's something else. My, my nephew, his feet were full of, um, not the tags, but um, I forget. Um, but just all over his feet, those brown, I for, they're like a tag, but it's not a tag. Anyway, the doctor told her, you can try this. Somebody told me it worked for them. He took Zantac for your stomach, I think for a week, and they disappeared. They just, you know, they just disappeared. What, what are they called? But, you know, they looked so bad, and, you know, he was younger and all that kind of, you know, all that stuff. Um, and one thing, when I was looking in the mirror, I was remembering a tip I had gotten a long time ago. And some of you may know it, but I just thought to start using it again when I put makeup on. When I'm not seeing you guys, I usually don't. Is when you, after you put your eyebrow pencil on, and I started using the other stuff. It seems a little better, the powdery stuff. I was taught by a makeup person, um, you, you know, the brush that you use, that I don't use, but you spray a little hairspray on it, and you go over it, and it'll make your your um, eyebrows stay in that stay in place with your eyebrow pencil. I I kind of spray it on my finger and just kind of dab it. But don't ask me why I'm telling you all these things. But they just kind of came to me. And if you're getting older like me, you could use all the help you can get. But anyway, I usually don't. Um, use a lot of, uh, I mean, I, I don't even have a anything in my purse. And if I have a small paper thing, then it gets, it gets lost. Okay, my son came over last night. Nicholas, do you believe it? I think uh, it scared the crap out of him. And I, I did find out, remember I kept, I don't know if I said, but I just thought, I could tell, like, he was just going to die from this. And um, 
he just told me last night because they never told me when it, right, right when it happened and they really didn't understand it but I'm one of these crazy people that research and look things up and everything and I knew how serious it was and it said a third of the people die because they can't get rid of the fluid it just eats up their lungs and he was one of the people because he's got bad diabetes anyway it was just terrible but he said he just told me that they gave him eight weeks to live if they couldn't get the fluid off of his lungs because they they actually had tubes there and and one like right by his heart or in his heart I don't know it was just too um but anyway I think he had a and it's still you know he he does too much but I think he had a come to Jesus moment and he came here and he visited me for three hours now before he got sick I probably hadn't seen him in a year and. So he brings me this. He said, Mom, you said you use jewelry for your <laughs> stuff. Maybe you could do something with this. Like, you could break this apart or something. And uh, I said, yeah, Nick, that's really cool. But you can't break it apart. I guess maybe for my gypsy thing, it would have had, you know, I don't know what I would use it for, but... He was bringing all these things. He brought me this crown like the kids have and this, that stuff in a little baggie that you lick, stick, picks or something. I'm like, I never, you know, I never ate that stuff before. I don't know why. Okay. I don't know if any of you, well, up north, I know there is, but here, I don't know. Lana, Lana uh, Burger Baskets. And they're expensive. And I think that back, I don't even know if they still do it or not. But they had, you know, house parties and stuff. And uh, it's long, longer burger. And Dick's, um, um, my ex-husband's mother uh, just loved him. Um and she, she would collect them. As a matter of fact, I have a couple of hers, but I in that bag of stuff, I got those beads and stuff. Look at the, there's, it's a Lana, Lana, Lana Burger, um, like cup basket. And I didn't notice it right away, but see, this is one of them and it, I think they're numbered. Like this one says 1989 inaugural basket. And uh, I keep this in the kitchen and throw things in. And then this is another one. And they're small ones. I have big ones up on top of my shelves. Um, and it's funny. I don't see a, a thing on here. Maybe it's because it's not the inaugural. But people collect them. But I don't know if here, I know I asked somebody if they ever heard of them here, and they said no. So I thought that was kind of cool that I had gotten that charm out of there. Okay. Last night, you know, not like I don't have things to finish up, but I had some um, dye frozen in my... It was icing up in my freezer from, you know, avocados. So I took it out and thought it out. And I, I don't know if this light at night is any good. But I just threw some things in there. And then I had another one that I wasn't that crazy about. It was called tea dyeing, but it was three different colors, like, and I wasn't that crazy about it. See the, I don't know if you can see them very well, but I just threw some things in that I had to see how, because I, I didn't have any pink things left. A little piece of this and this. And uh, 
these doilies. Those came out nice. And then this just very light pink I took. This was the bottom of a wedding dress. And this came out nice too. I get these from Donna. And this was, I cut out of something. And then Nola will recognize these. It's just that I cut them off of a bag and I made it a little shorter. <laughs> and then this was white and I cut it off one of the curtains. How pretty. And they're just a nice, a nice pink. It's probably hard to tell in this light. That's why I don't like to do things at nighttime. But I didn't want you to think I'm not doing anything. All I do is lose things, though. I can't find them. I know that. Then I want to show you these neat, neat bags that I have. I have to tell you, my problem is, okay, when i sending something to someone, I love making it and everything. When it comes to sending it, it's like, I'm thinking, okay, should I try to make a tag? Should I, what kind of bag should I put it? I, I make myself so nuts that, and for me, I see people like lay things out and make 10 tags at a time. For me, one tag takes, you know, forever. And um, I made this, I think I showed you guys this. Um, I just put that on. When um, Jeanette Scrap and Happy O showed how to make that um, shabby bass um, bags, and mine didn't work, and I know why after, because I didn't go in and out. I they were all the same way. Anyway, I don't know what I did, but I I wasn't going to leave all those things just, you know, stay. So anyway, I put a bag, and then I think I just glued these on. I didn't want to waste it. And the uh, only thing is somehow it got a little skinny in the middle. So I put this on to make it look a little better. And then I put these on, and I could only find one. So I put this plastic on it. So the neighbor put the little holes in for me. But that's what I do. I put it in, and then it's like, oh, what am I going to put on top? I know I have some plastic. Uh, I even have more of these glass things I know somewhere. Okay, I'll get some plastic and put it on. Well, where, where do I have heavier plastic at? So I'm running around, you know, and that's what screws me up. So I had bought a whole bunch, look at how cute these are, these bags, like a vase. And then you can tie them or decorate them or whatever. But I had bought a bunch. So I'm thinking, okay, well, I'll take half of them or in half because I was, I'll take it in half and then I'll draw a circle and then I'll, but it was too thin. And so then I'm looking for something else. It's like, I'm going to try to get that kind of stuff together so I don't I'm not such a a nutcase when it's time to actually finish up something because now I have made such a mess with everything from doing it in my room that I I just keep throwing the stuff all in one box and say well I'll separate it all later well the thing is I get most of it done. You know, I have these piles on the bed. Then I have to go somewhere. And then I come home. It's late. All this crap's on the bed. I'm tired. So here it goes again. You know, I know you guys that are... I don't know why. I just cannot sit at this desk and make things. I made myself one night when I couldn't sleep. But it's just, you know, I could sit in bed and watch TV and... But then I keep running in the other room, you know, seeing if this lace works or that works or this works. Pretty soon I have this just huge mess. 
this and tags. I have little things I could make up and some um, someone made me some little ones that I could decorate. It's like I look at it and you know, she just, uh, Roxy made for me. And she just, you know how she is, she just puts some stuff together. That could take me hours. That's why I don't, I don't know, um, what it is. I don't know if it's being a perfectionist about something when you can just whatever. But ideas come to me all the time to make things. But when it comes to that, stuff you know i'm just like um and and one girl on there i think it was the happy bird or something i always get her name except she made a napkin one that was really cute what i need to do is sit down and make a bunch so that because that's that's my biggest problem and forget a card if i did a card i i you wouldn't get it till christmas and look at these cute bags. I just happened, they, I think they came in a pack of five. Of course, Easter's over. And I was just going to, like, decorate the top with a little bit of lace and send them. But I didn't end up getting anything out before Easter. I'll tell you what, the older you get, the faster time goes. And there was a guy on TV who's a... Um, Oh, I don't know what he is, but he said there is a reason. He said there's a reason for it. I think I told you this the other day. There's a reason why. And it's, you know, something that they study. Uh, I love these little white. You know, I love these things. I have some of these, but they're big. And I know I gave a lot away in the beginning. You know, in the beginning, you don't know what you're doing, and you don't know what all the stuff's for, so you just think, oh... So I gave most of it all away. And now I wish I had half the stuff. But I think that looks pretty enough to send somebody. And I stuck a flower on there. I'm just not, uh, I'm just not the bomb when it comes to that stuff. Okay, um, oh, one little thing. I would, when I'm supposed to be doing one thing, I eye something else, and I don't know why or what I why I I did it or whatever. But there was this um, uh, I, I made I, I this material. I looked at it and I thought, huh, I should make like I have to fix it a little heart out of it. And then I made this little, you know, flower, and I put this on the back, and, you know, it's like, I mean, it took me time. I doubled like this, and, I mean, I wasn't even doing it for anything special. I was supposed to be doing other stuff. I, it's like the kids. They'd rather do the easy things or the fun things for themselves than, you know, I want to tell you too that I'm, at the end I'm going to ask you a question and it's about um, me and uh, so whoever is here and the first person who notices something different about me. I'll send you a little something. I don't know when. I still have to do the random drawing too. But I'm almost done with all these packages. Okay. First of all, I got a really nice card. Um, Sue Turcott. She doesn't have a channel. But she just loves to watch my channels. And she... Uh, She um, comments all the time, really nice comments, but she doesn't, um, she says she's just a fan. Just want you to know I'm thinking about you. I hope you have a wonderful Easter. 
Turkotte, T-U-R-C-O-T-T-E. T -U -R -C -O -T -T -E. But wasn't that nice of her to think of me? Yeah, she doesn't have a... I, they must have changed it because I didn't even think people could comment if you didn't have a, a channel. Or maybe she has a channel and just doesn't use it. Now look at this. This is what the card came in. I mean, this reminds me, like Roxy, you know, that's how it came. How they just kind of throw stuff together. And I guess I'm too much... I don't like things straight, shrubs or furniture or anything. Everything's always on an angle. But I don't know how to just put something like this together and or to even think about it. Maybe I will now. This is this is material. Isn't that pretty? She didn't even put her name on the back. See, that's good because I could use it again. And if they don't, if, if, <laughs> like family, they don't know because they don't know what I'm doing anyway. Um, oh, this wasn't from her weight. Uh, but anyway, Sue sent me this card. And um, if you ever look at, at the comments, and like I said, I thought you could have a channel and I thought you could look but I didn't think you could comment so they must have they must have changed that and oh, I'm up. I think she lives in Washington Isn't that something we just have people from all over that's pretty sparkly thank you Sue. I was really surprised that you thought of me. Now you need to try to make stuff. There are people who make stuff. Um, uh, wormy. I call her Wormy. Um, uh, she's not the Cotton Barn. That's Loretta. Wormy is... Um, why did I think of Wormy? I won't give her that nickname. I'm trying to think. Anyway, they make... She's the one that made... Um, or... It was Loretta, I, I think, that made that flower. She makes still makes things and stuff. I guess they're just too shy to do. And this. You've seen that before. Oh, the other one's the tape, the tape queen. Yeah. And so, I I thought of tapeworm for some reason. So now she's wormy. Um, so thank you so much, and thank you for your lovely comments always. You know, you can't have a bad day when she's gives the comments that she does. Um. I say, see, other people like me. What, what's wrong with my family? <laughs> oh, I guess it's just life. This is from Belinda Combs from Australia. I always want to say New Zealand. I don't know why. From Australia, yeah. Way up, I guess, north. It's pretty far. I don't know how people could live that far and then have snow and cold weather all the time. I guess that's what they're used to. But anyway, this is the bag she made. Look, it was one of those white and I can't find these big ones. I can only find the small ones. Because I enjoy decorating them even though I mean I could do them a little faster. Um and I should think like to look to remember to get Oh, there was a there was a little bow on here with the clip. It came off, and I forgot to put it back on. And then this is the card. Now I'm sure she made it, but look how it's kind of adorable. 
Now, you know, it's just it's playing the rest of the way, but I I don't think a lot of times to use my. I mean, if somebody said make this card, I could, you know, make. Um, you know, almost the same card. But thinking about it is another thing. She must be an artist, too, the way she just kind of puts stuff. And look, she even did boobs. Isn't that adorable? You should go over to Belinda's and um, subscribe if you haven't. She does really nice things and... She had a challenge not too long ago, and I think she had one for her birthday, and I didn't get to um, to do it. But I, I had, we had swapped one other time. I don't know why I just can't keep up. I've been trying to do a few. Um, if any of you saw my uh, snippet thing, <laughs> you'll. Know, that's why I don't have time. I guess at the way I make stuff but anyway I did June's and I wanted to, to do um, Jeanette's I didn't get to get it to her in time but I'm, I'm still gonna send it to her just for happy mail and I remember I did Jean Rags Munch, Munch I forgot what those are called Twinchies or something but then Oh, and yeah, I did do her, um, I did do the, uh, um, pin cushion thing. And, you know, I listened to the directions. I did a little. I mean, it was only this big. And it, at the end, you know, she said, she said the same thing. You know, most of them were bigger. So she was going to do a special um, drawing for the people that listened, a little one. And I don't think you could have gotten much littler than mine. And Well, maybe some people did. But I wasn't, she didn't put mine there. I wasn't in the drawing. I didn't care about that, but um, I just... Um, thought it was little and everybody else made big ones it's like you didn't listen so I've, I've been trying to do a few uh, challenges and a few things I want to send out to people that I had made a while back that I'm just you know giving to people that I think would like it or that were always giving such nice comments to me and stuff and um, but you need to go to Belinda's. She's the sweetest lady. And how you could live way out there. Boy, you need something to do. So this is what she made me. She made me a junk journal. Now, I don't have a junk journal. I never made a junk, junk journal. I said I was going to make a junk journal. And it's not a real huge one which is nice, look. See, these don't look, I mean, it looks pretty easy. You know, you just have to think of these things because I said I was gonna make one and I've been saving labels now. And she, she I don't know if she, yeah, she sewed that, I think. But some people put those little notches on like it looks like. Do I have this upside down? No. No. She just has this upside down. Yeah. Tea stain. And I do have some tea stain paper because I had asked Roxy for some because she makes it. And if I had... I mean, I'll do other stuff, but if I had a tea stain paper and stuff, I probably really wouldn't do it. And look, that's the part. See how they cut the top part off and then look at that. I wonder if she colored that. It's a fairy. And that shabby sheet paper. And look at this one. Isn't that beautiful? I think 
I'll have to ask her if she did that herself with pencil. And then this. And then this one, and then with a pocket. I, I guess that's what I could do. I could steal them out of all these and then write on them. <laughs> really that's really pretty and she just like made a little envelope to stick there I don't know my mind doesn't go that way my mind goes like in one direction I guess Isn't that pretty See, for some people, the idea of just throwing something together goes fast. For me, trying to throw something together goes slow. Like that. And some people are so fast at, like, coloring these or, you know, using a pencil. One time I, I was... I forget what I was doing, and I was using the markers that I had to try to, like, highlight. Oh, I made something, I put a picture on it, and I was trying to highlight the lips. Well, then I got messed up. So then I was trying to, I used alcohol, all this stuff. And in the meantime, I, I'm i texting Roxy, like, well, or Deborah, or Dee Dee, like, what do I do now? You know, I had this thing all made. I mean... I had this big round thing of red. She said, I think you should get rid of your, pen, your, those pen, watercolor things. And I did because that's all I do is mess up stuff. And half of them are, are empty anyway. And I just kept some of the little ones, but I need to just leave it alone. I'm no artist. You know, I mean, not that way anyway. My niece and nephew and my, my, this um, ex-brother-in-law. I mean, they're artists. Good artists. It's like runs in the family. But it didn't run in my sister and my family. It ran in their dad's family. Isn't that pretty? It's like Indian stuff. It looks like to me, like with feathers and stuff and horns. Believe. And that one is, look how delicate that looks. I was so surprised because, you know, it takes... There's so many people and there's so many people I like to send things to. But like I said, once it's that packing that stuff up. I'm getting it in there and then I do too much I know I do too much because when I'm watching the video I'm like oh my god it just seems like I think oh well, they probably like a little of this oh they probably can't get this there oh they and pretty soon you know it's ridiculous and I can't get myself to stop I have to do it and then just make close it and send it because a couple I have to send I'm like, oh, I'm glad I didn't send them because now I got all this curtain stuff and such pretty material and I'll put some of that in. Well, I'm going to have to take something out and this takes up really all my time. Not that I, not, see, not that I don't want to uh, do it. I love doing it, obviously, but I got myself in a little bit of a bind this time. I have two more ready to send, and then I still have, like, they're all ready to send, about four of them. But now I want to take some stuff out and put some different stuff in, and some, there's too much. I'm going to have to do a different another box. And when it's international, you have to keep it under four pounds, which is never going to happen. Anyway, look at this. I don't know 
if she gets this from me, if I send it to her, but I know I sent some people this. The flower, paper flowers, the lace. This is pretty. Silky. And this is the colors I'm starting to really like the chocolates, the champagne, the all that stuff. And then here's an angel. And that's a little um uh burlap there. Believe in the fairies who made dreams come true. Believe in the wonder. Now this is four thousand dollars to get my eyes, so I don't need glasses or anything. And that was cataracts and what else? Because I already had the Lasix 19 years ago. They were just supposed to fix it up. I can't even see. I had to go get glasses. Believe in the magic from fairies above. They dance on the flowers and sing songs of love. And if you just believe and always stay true, the fairies will be there to watch over you. I certainly hope I have some. And see this stuff? Like, I know it's piece of, from a piece of fabric and, and all that stuff. It looks like a little stiffy on it. But if I thought to myself, oh, I'm going to um, do something like that, it would be like, well, we're, we're stuff do I have that I would get that from I can't remember or whatever but I think that's kind of a burlappy stuff just kind of taken apart I guess most people plan ahead I do it as I'm going along or somebody asked me to do a tutorial on something I said are you kidding you want to sit there for three hours maybe someday on something. I mean, I know I don't have to be perfect, but I have absolutely no idea. And then to store stuff, you know, people say they store by color. You know, I have all these materials and all these curtains and and you know, all the stuff I've bought. And that's why I give most probably, you know, a good half or three quarters away. Because I like to give, and a lot of people make nice things, and maybe they can't, they don't have access to all this stuff, and this has all been free, you know. And some of it I don't even know, you know, what to do with it. I mean, I haven't even gotten through all of it since. What does this say? Can't see. But anyway, thank you so much, Belinda. I was really surprised. And it came... I've had this for... It came before Easter. And I'm sorry I didn't do it sooner. But my, my granddaughter's in the hospital now, too. She's got some kind of a, I don't know what this contagious stuff is. It's not quarantine, but it's something you have to have a mask on and stuff. She's only 11. You know, Nicholas, he was, I mean, he didn't even tell me half the time. He said he had four, three or four operations. I'm sure they weren't all as serious, you know, as the first one. And he was in there like eight weeks in. If it was up to them, they would still have them there. So, it's, you know, it's kind of scary. And then all this stuff with gallbladder and I need to get my knee done. And I did something to it yesterday. Oh, my gosh, I pulled a muscle or something. Why does it always have to be the bad leg? So I'm limping around. I almost bumped right into... Um, this lady is 7-Eleven. She's coming out. You know, I don't know if... Oh, yeah, here. I didn't open this. All I did was... 
I know it's from Lori Smith Netner because she got married. And when I first started, she sent me all these cute paper cutouts. What did I say when I first got married? When I first started. <laughs> Fabulous friend, tulips, tend a garden and beautiful flowers will appear. Can you see them? All these cute little things she cut out and colored. Got a little pinwheel. love those little things those little envelopes and stuff butterfly she's more into paper stuff now she look at that she doesn't um she doesn't do uh, videos either See, look how I did the back of it. This is the kind I tried to figure out a flower the other day. I mean, I can do regular flowers, but the ones, those really different ones. Oh my gosh! Like this looks. Oh, I see. You just do half, and then I think I could even do this. But I just give up. I'm gonna have to have like a babysitter with me. Gail, I enjoy watching your uh, videos. You are such a dear friend. Thank you so very much. I'd send her uh, a tablecloth because she said it looked, reminded her of what, the one her grandfather liked that they had on this table. I love it. Happy Easter. Um, protect the little items in the Ziploc bag so they would not break. Huh. But these, these are really cute. That was so nice. She just got married. Oh, it must be maybe a year now. Oh, look at that material. It's velvet on here. Isn't that pretty? You know, that would... You, you wouldn't think, you know, of stuff like that. But this would make a nice cover. For a book. I'll put here. Oh, she wrapped it up in some little doohickeys. Some, um, I can't think of the name. Oh, and I was talking about velvet. Look at this. Okay, let's do this. Isn't that cute? Some little pieces of... That's cute. Plaid. Oh, look at these flowers. I've never had those um, sunflowers. When I was in... We went to France. It was really cool because the one little town we went to, it was just fields of sunflowers just like um oh what artist did the sunflowers um I know who he is from my uh and then the one did the lavender um and my my niece she she painted or she had a tattoo done She's a really good artist. Dolly's um, Melting Clock or whatever, if any of you know. Look at the, look at the uh, I won't take it out. Is that cute? You know, I'm going to put in there one of my um, succulents. They're doing really well. I'm making sure I keep spraying them. Oh, look at this. 
This is, um, jeez, I, I know what it is, um, because I have some other colors upstairs. Not jute, um, but you can, un something paper, and I can't think. I just call it twisted paper. Paper with a twist. Thank you, dear. and something already dropped. Look at this pink silk. It's a piece of white. I could wrap that up as a flower. Some. And this is like a... It's, it's, it's like squares but it's like it's stiff and sunflowers I think I made her something for her wedding I mean I, I, I did give her something for her wedding but I don't know whether I made it or bought it I can't remember prayer for the intercession of St. Pa uh, Padre Pio some mini twist ribbon it reminds me of Irish it's like yellow yellow and green plaid St. Anthony of Padua of course being a nice Catholic girl I remember him St. Anthony during his brief 36 years on earth, he was not only known for finding lost objects, and that would be myself, but for finding lost souls, restoring lost faith, and renewing peace of mind and spirit. From the Seminarians of St. Lawrence Seminary. St. Anthony of Padua. Thank you, Lori and hubby. See, this is the only size bag I can find of these glycine bags. Maybe a little bigger, but how pretty she decorated it. <laughs> a card. And a bunch of little goodies. It'd be great for those pocket um she was one of the people that first sent me stuff so i could make a, a pocket uh thing i think i only made two i they just seemed hard to me hello spring some white cards some emoji type people <laughs> name on you know what I want to get it's like I'll tell you what it's like if, when anybody thinks to send me something you don't have to make me anything like great just make me all different shape bags to sew like I don't have a sewing machine, and then I like to decorate them, and then I have bags. Oh, here's some more. And then what I want to get is I want to get a nice, and I really don't know how to go about it, a nice little material, a nice little material thing that says, um, 
that you can cut out or get a bunch of them or whatever, but I don't know where. You know, Handmade with Love by Gail Fava for whatever. My information. I guess, you know, I could just type them, I don't know, and copy them. I still can't get my printer. Oh, look at the pink. To air print. And I went in and talked to the guy, and it sounded so simple, but I'm going to have to have them. Because I can't download anything. And I want to download some pictures. I want to download... I want to figure out how to make myself some of those... You know, oh, look at that. Isn't that pretty? Velvet. It's a real, uh, like burgundy velvet Christmas. Thank you, dear. Yeah, I only had some black. I didn't have any other colors. Oh, look. Cones. Now, I haven't seen these. I guess you put little things in them, huh? Oh. I guess you could put anything in them. Some little dabadoos or... <laughs> huh. It's almost, they remind me of when we used to help the kids make airplanes. This is a nice, sturdy one. They're all pretty. I do have a lot of paper, even though I don't really use it. One of the my friends was getting rid of paper, and so I took some out. She was going to send take it to Goodwill. She had, like, bags and bags of stuff. So I put it in my... That's why I have such a mess. I put it in my car so I could go through it and keep what I wanted. But I really don't use paper that much so I tore some pages out that I liked I gave some to some other people and there's still a huge box that I guess I'll just I was going to give it to like an art teacher or something or take it to Goodwill so, more green oh let's just send me scraps okay Roxy don't look Look at this. Oh, look at these. Isn't that adorable? It's like you go into the market or um, what was the baby? Um, Moses was in the thing, went down the uh, river. I think Moses put, I can't think when I'm on here. Remember the two mothers? One wasn't the real mother. And so I think it was Moses or God said, Well, we'll cut them cut her in half and then each of you can have half. And the real mother said, No, no, just give it give them to her. And then they knew who the real mother was. I mean that's a pretty uh that's a nice neat piece. Story, but I Solomon. I was um, Solomon, I think. I don't know. I can't remember at the moment the names. Look at these. I wonder if she got these. Look at that one. How cute. Ah, oh, look at this. Do, 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 There's probably a snake in there. Shall we see? Ah! Do, 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 do. Look at this. Look at that little brush. In the red basket. All of them are different. Wouldn't these be cute with those? I still have some really tiny little eggs. I didn't make any baskets or do anything this year, but I did put my, and I sh showed you one year, my big um, 
rabbit that we've had for like 30 years. I set him out there because I know people just look forward to it. Look at that pretty. I don't know the na the names of these materials either, but this is, it's like I know this one, but I can't think of it. But I know everybody looks forward to it. And I usually put eggs in and all kind of stuff, but I didn't do too much this year. What you got, Lise? I can put my, um, since they just need air, they don't even need dirt or anything. I just put my, some succulents in here. Won't they look cute? And hang them on something. Like a little tree. Poinsettias, leaves, Roxy, oh my god, her and her leaves, look at this, needle craft yarn, huh, these almost look, um, um, vintage, maybe they are. Oh, these are pieces of uh, samples. Oh, look. I could put that on um, a little doll's head. I found one of these. I had it last year, and I didn't find it quick enough. I was going to make a little, put a couple succulents in there. I don't know if you all saw when I had doing the succulents and I put them all out on the back porch. And, air, I mean the air plants. But I have succulents too. And the air plants, a lot of them, just, they just grow on the trees. Come on, look at that. These are nice, they're like off-white and they have a design. Look at these. I use my flowers a lot that I get it. Like I haven't gotten any in a long time, but like a Goodwill or whatever. I rinse them all off and I dry them. And like in my, I, I brought my Tussimosi down here. And all those flowers in there are from, oh, another little piece of bread. See, I would have had that for my, um, some hearts for my um, gypsy okay. and I took it down from here and I found a place in the hall upstairs I'm gonna put it because I'm trying to bring a lot of this stuff down here and just keep stuff up there like that I need or use you know all the materials and stuff I mean, I'm already taking up two rooms. But there's still an extra room. Company or whatever. It's got two twin beds. It's those beds that go together and then make the king size and, and they go up or down, you know. Those baskets are adorable, Lori. Thank you so much. I have to figure out something cool to do. Oh, no. look at this. Didn't even see that one. That's yellow gold, yellowish gold. I wonder if she used to do miniatures. Yeah, as soon as I get caught up a little bit, we're going to do a, another scrap swap. Whoever wants to do it. See, our, I have my. Can you see it there? One of my jars there with scraps in them. I love the jar. I think that, I don't know, that jar got from Nola or... Happy Easter. Enjoy the miniature baskets and uh, velvet and silk. You may like, like the twisted paper, too. Yeah, the twisted paper comes. You just untwist it. And all these little 
things. Now, see, these are all little things you can put on tags and but it just doesn't come to me. <laughs> I told you, it's or else it just takes me forever and I keep adding things like the one thing I'm going to show you that I, I did show you once half done I just now finished it okay Most of the people I know around here, well, a lot of them do paper. And Atelis, Atelis Crafts, she makes really cool things in molds. I mean, characters and stuff that you can order from her. She's on Facebook and um, uh, YouTube. Look at that. They're so tiny. Look at that little heart. Thank you, Lori. Everyone seemed to have a quiet Easter this year. I know she said um, they did. And a lot of people just kind of stayed home. Maybe it's just when you start to get little bit older it's like you've done it so much that you know you don't care really if you do any big thing I know every year you know I was cooking and had a million people over and then all of a sudden it's like oh I've had enough but couldn't have gotten any quieter here and about nine o'clock at night I thought you know I'm hungry so I had leftover salad I had but that's all right. Lori, thank you so much. I'm trying to think of her husband's name. I know the last name's Nettner. And when I send her stuff, I still forget and say Smith. And that velvet's beautiful. And I don't know, Roxy or Nola, just scraps if. I might give you some. Okay, this is, I showed you, I thought I was finished with it, and I ended up, it just didn't look right, so I put this on it. I, I dyed these. This, I put another um, doily. I took this one off. I'll tell you what, I feel like um, I can do anything uh, since, well, a long time ago when Maggie told me, I asked her, how, well, how do you get something off if you want to take it off? And she told me just to use that hot thing. You know, you got to be careful, though, because you can burn stuff easily. And everything just comes off. So I feel like Superwoman. I could just take everything off and put it back on. It just comes off so easily. And then I made this little stick pen to stick in there. Would you believe all those beads I got? There weren't a lot of big ones, really. I mean, there's seed beads coming out. Whatever. But there were 70% off of all the um with the green tags at holly or at michael's so i got some pretty pink ones and uh that light shining and see i added more stuff and more stuff it's like if i see somewhere or like right here i'm thinking okay so i'm either gonna go in there or fell out or and then I muted this a little bit, and then I had this. I didn't like the way everything was just so round. So then I had this, and I just kind of put that on. So 
so this is finally done and I think it turned out pretty nice you know not like you super people can do but I think it turned out pretty good I think that's it um I changed some of my stuff around the doll um the palette made me and this put here because I just love that that Diana made me my mason jars and this is a piece of material it says Paris and stuff that I ordered obviously but I don't remember I think I'm half asleep sometimes when I order this stuff and I hung my Tussie Mussie up there I love my Tussie Mussie I just it was one of the first things I made but I really, I really liked it. And of course I haven't seen her for a while, but this is the one that's in the hospital. They're so adorable. When this is her, you know, sister, I think one of them, or maybe both of them you saw, because I always watched them all the time. And, um, I didn't watch them. We just all had a good time together. And, uh, she's getting, now she's into middle school. So, she's getting big. Huh, that was a lot of this and that stuff, right? And I changed my. Um, Changed my table. 